Hello again gamers, welcome back to the Board Game Captain. I'm the Board Game Captain and today I'm going to be reviewing and showing you how to play Berry. Now Berry is one of the Blinks that came in the Blinks core set that I have here. Thanks to Move38 for sending me the Blinks core set to play and review and do tutorials for the various games like this one here. Uh, so Barry may show up in other sets of Blinks. They are trying different combinations of Blinks for sale. So if you see Barry in any particular set, this is going to be a tutorial and a review on how to play Barry. But before we get started, I want to draw attention to the fact that I am wearing one of our merch shirts. This is the Hey Good Looking, Come to This Dungeon Often shirt. Because you know what? Not every encounter in a dungeon requires combat. Sometimes you have to use those charisma-based skills. If you want to get this shirt, other shirts, mugs, or even a sticker they're all available on my teespring store there's a link in the description below and if you're in a position to and would like to help out the channel there's a link to my patreon in the description below where you can also get the ability to influence future content on the channel and get early access to videos so without any further ado i'm going to take you to the table and we're going to show you how to play a game of berry and then we're going to come back i'm going to talk about how this game plays and how it feels and i'm going to rate it and review it Okay, so to play a game of Berry, you need to turn on exactly six blinks, and then you take the Berry blink and hold it until it starts training mode. Once it begins training mode, you're going to connect it to the other blinks, and it will train all of them how to play Berry. They will all go through these circling blue lights to train. Eventually, these other two will be showing training as well. And then they will turn back into other colors, I believe solid blue, to be able to play Berry. There we go. So they've all turned to their solid blue for Barry. And then what happens is uh, me and my opponent will each take three of these. We separate them apart and we each take three of these to start with and we take over by us. Uh, and we're going to have to take turns placing them out on the table. So the first one is going to just be placed out in the middle here. Now then Lynn is going to attach one to it and when she attaches one she has to click the button which changes its color. Now if I attach one to both of these I have to click both of them so they both change their colors. There are three possible colors. It goes from blue to red to yellow. If you manage to attach yours to three at once you will also have to change the color of your own. So for instance if I place it in here I would change this from red to yellow, this from blue to red, this from blue to red, and this from blue to red. I want to show this. When you're able to make certain shapes, as shown here on this diagram, of singular colors, you're able to earn points. I just had these three in a, in a triangle here, which gave me one point, so Lynn's going to mark down that I have one point on our score pad. You can also get two points for these two shapes and a full three points for this shape. If you ever end a turn where you have all of the blinks are one color, you will automatically win. You, the other way to win is to gain a ten, full 10 points by the end of one of your turns. Lynn just made a grave tactical error, actually, which is unlike her, because this is going to be one of the quickest games of Barry ever, because all I need to do here is pull this one off, plug it in there, and turn these two to red, and now they will all be the same color, which means I would win. And then we could just set it up and play again. But that is how you play a game of Barry. Barry. Normally it lasts a bit longer, but we just wanted to show you a real quick game that gave you examples of how the different moves work. So now we're going to head back. I'm going to talk about how this game plays and how it feels, and I'm going to rate it and review it. Okay, welcome back. So that was how you play a game of Barry. So you see, this is actually one of the more involved games uh, in the Blink system. This is one that's actually uh, got so much going on that it almost verges on being a middleweight game. Most of the Blinks games are fairly lighter weight games. This is probably on the heavier, heavier end of lightweight. Now, uh, there's some good and some bad here I want to talk about, but it's mostly positive. I actually quite like this game. So the, the, the scoring, when it comes to getting the specific shapes down that you do every turn, uh, which let's see if I can get the camera to see this. So you get the specific shapes, and they're each worth points. If you can get the shapes of uh, singular colors, you score points, and you're working towards trying to get 10 points to win. Uh, that can feel a little fiddly, because I constantly feel like you have to check 
the scoring shapes here, though it is cool that there are two different ways to win because there's the other instant win of you can just get all of the blinks the same color at the end of your turn. You just win it. So I like that way of winning better, but uh, I do also like that there is the scoring method to have the the countdown to force there to be either, you know, um, your opponent, if they're losing, they either have to find a way to really stem the tide or get everything to be one color to instant win if they're falling behind. And that's kind of cool, even though I do feel like the needing of a pen or pencil and a score pad is a little fiddly in this game. I like the multiple ways to win. That is a really, really cool thing. Uh, so this game is one that I do feel uh, really does highlight the Blink system. This is one that maybe you could possibly do it without the Blink system, but it would be way fiddlier. It's much easier to do with just pushing the buttons to change the colors. Because since there are, um, you know, three different colors that they're going to change to, the thing is that if you had tiles, you would need multiple tiles because with three colors, you can't just do both sides of a tile. You would actually need separate tiles. You have to swap them out. Plus, it would be more difficult without the magnetic component. So just being able to push the buttons and 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 it have it change colors for you is very beneficial in doing it in the Blink system versus doing this as just a strictly non-electronic game. Uh, that being said, also, this is a really fun game. This is one that is really cool and very strategic. It's a real uh, brain burner, actually. Very simple to learn, but it will take you some time to master. Um, there is definitely a learning curve on this one, but very cleverly designed. Very, very cool. And I quite like this one. So um, I'm going to give Barry 7.5 stars out of 10 because I think this one is thoroughly awesome. Uh there are very few downsides. Like I said, the scoring can be a little fiddly, but I think that is far overshadowed by the benefit of having two different ways to win, which is really awesome and something that I very much like in abstract strategy games like this because uh, this is definitely an abstract strategy game and a very well-designed one. 7.5 stars out of 10. I'd play this anytime someone asks. I'm going to ask to play it a lot in the future. This is one of my top three favorite ones from the core set. I quite like it. Well, let's get a second opinion. Lynn... How many stars out of 10 would you give to Barry? Eight. So Lynn is even more emphatic on this. She has told me this is her number one favorite game from the core set. And in fact, might be her favorite game of all the blanks, at least the ones she has tried so far. She thoroughly enjoys Barry and gave it eight stars out of 10. And this is the one that she says she would like to play most often. This is the one that she feels is a most complete and well-rounded game. So there you have it. We're both quite Po positive on Barry. If anything we talked about sounds interesting to you and you see Barry in a set of blinks that you're considering getting, this is one that I really think might make a set very worthwhile because this game alone is quite awesome. So there you have it. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns on this video or the game of Barry, feel free to put them in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this review and tutorial of a Blinks game and you'd like to see me do more like it, be sure to give this video a like, share it on all forms of social media, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Board Game Captain. That's Captain spelled with a K on YouTube. And if you have any requests for review and tutorials on future Blinks games, any of the games from the original core set, the first expansion, or the community expansion set, I have all of those that have been sent to me by my 38. If there are any of the games in there you'd like to see me do review and tutorials on, feel free to comment down below and let me know which ones you'd like to see me cover. And until next time, game on.